Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have some news regarding OneDrive for the web and also the new Microsoft Outlook for Windows. Now, first of all, um, if you are using OneDrive, um, you may have noticed that the feature is quite sluggish. OneDrive isn't the fastest web platform out there. And this is the first improvement that's going to be rolling out. That OneDrive, according to the Microsoft 365 roadmap, is going to be getting some long overdue performance improvements. With Microsoft saying that these improvements will provide faster page load times when using OneDrive for web or when using the Files app in Teams, irrespective of your network speed. So this is not this. These performance improvements are not regarding if you have slower or faster. Um, bandwidth and an internet connection. Apparently, um, Microsoft says that the increase in speed will be made possible by storing file metadata in the local cache of your device, as opposed to how it currently is to, requ to uh, requesting it from the cloud service. So that's the difference, and I think um, that's going to make a significant improvement when it comes to local um, data caching instead of having to get that from um, the online service. Now, Apparently, Microsoft says you will see faster screen loading, sorting, filtering, and also file moving and renaming of uh, files and folders uh, in OneDrive. And I think this has been a long time coming. And this is going to be rolling out. Uh, these changes are going to be rolling out in December. The preview will be available uh, next month uh, in November, but the general availability to uh, the public will be made available in December of this year, 2023, and that's for OneDrive for the web. Now, moving on to the new Outlook for Windows, which Microsoft started pushing out to personal account users last month in September, and I did post on that, and I'll leave that video down below. But uh, just to let you know that um, last month, um, late last month, Microsoft started rolling out our cloud account support for the new Outlook for Windows. Now, currently we have uh, Gmail support, as you can see. And if you have an iCloud, then I think this will be a nice move where Microsoft says users with iCloud accounts will now be able to add their accounts to the new Outlook for Windows. And that's the new Outlook for Windows for desktop. So um, just letting you know about these changes and iCloud support now available. Started rolling out last month and those performance um, increases coming to OneDrive for the web starting in December of this year, 2023. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.